of for fixed asset at the time of selling your property fixed asset you are receiving a cash so which year which month you have received so obviously we need to write here repayment of loan so already you took the loan now you have to go for repayment the money is going for the bankers so you have to write here july purchase value 144000 we are writing in the month of august so august 243000 we are writing in the september Hello everyone, a warm welcome to one and all. I am Natesh, lecturer in commerce, Vidya Shrub First Kid College, Mysore, the temple of excellence. We are in the unit 5, session 6, fourth semester BCom, uh, costing methods and technique. The chapter name is uh, budgetary control and standard costing. And today my agenda, which is a cash budget, uh, you will get more clarity about the uh, cash budget of how we are preparing with the help of format. Uh. So the majorly there are four types of methods we identified in the last session. So we will focus for the receipt and payment method, which is a common uh, universally accepted. Okay. And the uh, few, uh, the problem which is related to the cash budget so moving today uh, the format of cash budget so first one uh, as a, if if last year they prepared or last month they prepared or weekly they prepared so the closing balance whatever they it is given okay so immediately when you are preparing for the uh, second time so you need to consider which is the opening balance which is given in the question okay so the opening balance if they are asking to prepare for uh, three months okay and now we need to write for jan Pebu, march okay if they are asking for six months jan to june you have to uh, extend the column so the opening balance the first uh, you are writing for the jan month because you are preparing uh, which is starting from jan which is ending for the three months uh, uh, cash budget you are preparing so that's what the opening balance you have to write so uh, after uh, return once so opening balance return immediately we need to add for receipt to how you are receiving a cash so which is nothing but cash inflow okay so now you are receiving a cash because of cash sales so, so obviously you need to write for this one okay so under january uh, column and next one receipt from data because uh, we know there are two types of uh, uh, sales will be happening here okay on the basis of cash mode or credit mode mode so credit for example in the last year uh, they sold uh, okay they the customer are promised to pay in the next uh, jan so which is the uh, last month means uh, uh, which is a uh, december so uh, now we are writing in the month of jan if it is one month uh, uh, credit period is given if the two month credit period is given means we will write in the february so here uh, uh, again uh, interest and dividend collected okay the, uh, in the company are collected so which is also receipt nature so we are writing so which month uh, if they specified clearly in the question in the month of uh, march uh, the collected interest and uh, dividend means we need to write only for addition so that's what okay and the sale of a fixed asset at the time of selling your property fixed asset you are receiving a cash uh, so which year which month you have received so obviously we need to write here and the next one sale of investment also same thing okay so which uh, respected column if, uh, if you are if we are try to do the problem together you will get more clarity so next to bank loan once you are approaching you are getting a bank loan which is uh, nothing but the cash you are received you have to write here and the issue of shares and debenture so at the time of issuations uh, you are receiving a cash so that is also your writing and uh, other mode okay so what exactly they specified you need to identify classify the item based on the receipt and payment so now we will take all the receipt item total okay so that is actually total receipt uh, symbolically we are writing a okay so once once you are getting the receipt total moving for the payment side now outflow the payment side so receipt is added to the opening uh, balance and the payment is uh, subtracted deducted from the okay so here how you are going to pay the number of payments which is related after purchasing a raw material you need to pay the money for the supplier either immediately you paid uh, means cash flow directly it's going money so you have to write and the payment to creditors you are not paid for example in the last year you whatever you are purchasing for this year jan month you are paying means uh, obviously you have to show and the salary and wages which is also cash mode only you are paying okay so obviously the administration's uh, related expense which is outflow and the selling expense which is also cash mode only you are paying and the dividend if it is paid 
so obviously payable or paid okay we need to consider here and the purchase of fixed asset okay if we are purchasing at the time of purchasing your money is going so which is outflow so we need to consider and the repayment of loan so already you took the loan you have to go for repayment the money is going for the bankers so you have to write here so the any payment of taxation or penalty okay any fine is there means you have to write okay so if they are specified in the month of respect monthly you are paying means you have to give very importance here now if you take the total all this item which is nothing but the total payment uh, column okay now uh, we have majorly opening balance add receipt less payment okay so finally we are getting the balance so at the time of January now first you are preparing January now whatever the negative balance or positive balance which will carry forward to the next one so once again your next month you prepared again the carry forward to next month so either you're getting negative or positive so at the end of the uh, month only we can decide here yeah, next moving to uh, there is one questions to understand more you will get more clarity suhastra company limited wish to range uh, arrange uh, order facility with the banker from the period August to October, from the period August to October 2019, when it will be manufacturing mostly for stock. Okay, so prepare cash budget for the above period this month, August to uh, October, from the following data is given below. Now, we mainly we can focus, uh, okay, whatever the information is given. So now we need to classify it according to receipt and payment, okay, or inflow and outflow. So your cash means no doubt which is a receipt, the purchase which is coming under the payment, wages which is coming under the payment and the manufacturing expense which is coming under the payment and office expense which is coming under the payment and the selling expense which is coming under the payment. So only the receipt. Obviously June, July, August, September, October, November, December. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven months is given. So you need to prepare only for August to till October. Okay, so the data is whatever the given. So we need to select. Uh, so there is an additional information sir, at the time of preparing a cash budget. So the first one, the cash on hand. The first uh, August, first August, because you are preparing for the in the month of August to uh, October, right? So obviously the opening date is given here, twenty-five thousand. Immediately we need to write in the August column. There are three columns is required: August, September, October. Now, 50% of uh, credit sales are realized in the month following the sales. Okay, that means actually 50% will be credit. Uh, the remaining 50%, you have to call it as a cash sales. And the remaining 50% in the first and second month following, first and second month following, equally we need to consider. So obviously, there is one more adjustment for the payment side now, which is uh, related to receipt. Uh, and the uh, creditors are paid uh, in the month following of the month of purchase. So for example, in the month of Jan, they purchase, they are paying uh, for the, in the month of Peb. So like this, uh, login payment of manufacturing expense of month. Suppose if the, in the January uh, month 2000, they spend, okay, for the manufacturing expense. So we need to divide by two. So each month, uh, so the respected month half only we need to consider. Next month we are writing for 1000. So lag of payment of the other expense one month because uh, information one is which is related to manufacturing expense and one is related to the other expense. So moving forward to prepare the formatter, the same particular. Now before that there is a calculations for the receipt and payment. One is a 50% cash sales, remaining 50% for credit sale. So here, once again, I'm reading here, 50% credit sales are realized in the month of following of the cash or the sales. That means actually 50% cash immediately they are collecting and 50% remaining next month they are collecting. So here one month, uh, first and second month they specified, first month and second month. Moving forward, there is a calculation I have clearly work note I have specified. So now June sales, the June sales is given 180,000 divided by 2 or 50% means 90,000 we are getting. So 90,000 
uh, year, 1 lakh 80 thousand divided by 2 if you do 90 thousand so the following month means uh, 90 thousand you need to write for the August month so which are uh, which sales which is applicable for June so the June sales 50 percent will be going for the next month right so that's what I have uh, one more time here see June 1 lakh 80 thousand so yeah, the adjustment which is given 50% of credits are realized in the month following the sales. The remaining 50% in the first and second month following. First and second month following. So that's what the calculation. So June related 50 uh, June related sales value is given 1 lakh 80 thousand uh, into 50 percent means 90 thousand you are getting. So the June sales amount you are receiving in the month of uh, August, right? So that's what. Now next one in the July the sales value is given 1 lakh 92 thousand again 50 percent or divided by two means uh, you are getting 96 thousand. So now see July sales uh, July August uh, September. Now July ne first and second month right so first means uh, actually now you you need to consider for the august okay first and second means which is going for september so that's what we are writing july 50 percent okay in the month of august and september equally so 96,000 and 96,000 we are writing for the uh, two month why because the first and second month they specified here the first uh, August sales is given 1 lakh 8,000 the 50 percent if you calculate the first month and second month the first month means coming month September the first month you are paying for 54,000 okay now uh, the second month you are paying for the 54,000 so that's what which is appearing in the September as well as October okay and September okay the September whatever the sales value 1 lakh 74,000 so which is the first month means uh, next month will be October so after September uh, September next month will be October there is no second so that's what we are not extending one more column so so finally we will get to know the sales value okay in the month of August we are receiving a 1 lakh 86 thousand in the month of September we are receiving 1 lakh 50 thousand and in the month of October we are receiving 1 lakh 41 thousand so moving to the manufacturing expense in the man in the question they clearly specified uh, in in payment of manufacturing expense half month only half month okay so that's what so here uh, we are preparing for the month of August to October so we need to consider for the previous month so August which is the previous month July so July uh, in the manufacturing expense they specify uh, it is given in the question 4000 half means 50% if you calculate so the 50% will be going for the next month so that is 2000 now in the month of uh, August uh, uh, the manufacturing expense is 3000 of your writing respected month in the, re in the remaining of your writing for the next month so 3000 50 percent or half means you are getting 1500 you are writing the same month and the remaining you are writing for the next month next the September manufacturing expense 4500 is given again half means the same respected month you are paying for 2250 and next month you are paying for 2250 the October manufacturing expense 5000 of the respected month you are paying for 2500 okay next there is no next month so because you are preparing for the only three months so till year uh, if you take this August total 3500 uh, September total 3750 and October total 4750 are getting now moving to the uh, format actually we, we are after working note is done now actually we will step into uh, format now first one cash budget for three months for the August to October 2019 okay so particular august month september october so immediately the first one what you are writing receipt either you are receiving in the last month uh, okay last already prepared cash balance closing balance so now we are preparing so the closing balance will be opening balance for this okay whenever you are preparing so opening balance you, you need to write in the month of august to 25000 which is given in the question so now immediately the cash uh, we calculated uh, here ca the cash 186000 150 50,000, 1,41,000. So what we are writing, 
so we are writing uh, first one 186000 in the month of august september we 150000 okay so october we are writing 141000 so whatever the just now we calculated so directly we are writing so next uh, there is no interest uh, dividend uh, okay nothing is there there is only one receipt item i have identified here see i have clearly specified the sales only there were the major source that's what i have written so now well, there is only one item now what we are doing we are focusing for august 25000 plus 1 lakh 86000 if you add so 2 lakh 11000 so that is a total receipt okay so again the payment side now we are try to go for payment so the uh, the information which is given for the creditors are paid in the month following month of purchase so for example july they purchase they are paying for august august they purchase they are paying for the september so like Like this there is a direct calculations uh, directly we can post uh, okay uh, there is no need to prepare for any working note separately so now at the time of uh, uh, writing a payment side the first one uh, purchase the previous month uh, which is a uh, july right so the july uh, value july purchase value 144000 we are writing in the month of august so august 243000 we are writing in the september september whatever you purchase you are writing for the october so we are preparing for only 3 months so that's what uh, now purchase i have written as per july month uh, now sep august month we return now september month return okay now there is uh, wages directly there is no adjustment for the wages so log payment nothing is there directly whatever the payment is there respected column we are writing so directly 14000 11000 12000 14000 11000 12000 the respected month uh, august month only we are writing in the month of august uh, uh, the wages payment uh, whatever which is related yes see August eleven thousand, September twelve thousand, October fifteen thousand. Okay, so I have written next. So there is a manufacturing uh, expense. Just now we calculated the half of the month. The uh, there is calculation three thousand five hundred, uh, which is appeared in the August. Uh, and 3750 which is appeared in the september 4750 which is coming under the uh, october so directly we are writing okay 3500 uh, 3750 4750 so office expense there is no adjustment uh, log payment is not given directly uh, the respected the informations in the questions only we are writing august month 1000 is given in the august month uh, manufacturing expense completed august month 1500 uh, uh, september 2000 october 2500 same amount we are writing so directly we are writing same amount office expense next uh, selling expense there is no adjustment directly the uh, respected month only august month 2000 september 5000 and october 4000 2000 5000 4000 see 4000 2000 5000 now the once you completed the payment side total uh, which is 1 lakh uh, in the month of august we got 1 lakh 67500 okay so here the receipt uh, 2 lakh 11000 minus 1 lakh 66500 the difference is a positive so 44000 will carry forward to the next opening balance for the next month uh, 44000 again what we need to do 44500 plus 2 lakh 43000 if you add so the uh, we are getting the total payment uh, side also we need to consider all the payment now payment side first we need to take the total so once we get the payment total we need to sub Subtract adding together, so we need to subtract that there is a negative balance. Okay, so here the negative balance how we are getting once again the opening balance forty four lakhs five hundred plus one lakh for ninety four thousand five hundred. So that the total expenditure is two lakh sixty one thousand two fifty. So which is a negative sign only more. That's what we are writing in the negative. So which is carry forward to do in the month of October. So the same thing. so again here expenditure payment side total we need to take the payment side total 2 lakh 69750 we are getting so again 74250 again we need to check so now the sign is more only here so the difference we are getting a negative only because the negative value the expenditure which is always in the negative side keep on watch for next section thank you